Hey there everyone, Nabil6901 here, and welcome back to another Star Wars Rebels action figure review. Today we will be taking a look at the second set in the Mission Series line, and it's on R2-D2 and C-3PO. Now these two figures are based off of the first episode that appeared in on TV, and it was called Droids in Distress. I'm really happy that uh, Hasbro released these two guys uh, pretty early on, actually. And uh, to add these guys into our collection is pretty neat. It's kind of cool to have them in this brand new TV show now. And um, without further ado, let's see what uh, these figures have to offer. Now, of course, we have a new stylized packaging. It's no longer the Darth Vader packaging from uh, last year and halfway through this year. Um, so now we have a Stormtrooper look to it with a um, with a logo here, which is like um, a Sabine sort of homage to what she does. Uh, we have the Rebels logo up top, ages four and up. Now we have a nice more bubble kind of popping out uh, style, so I like that a lot. We have the uh, Rebels animated logo on the bottom here, as well as the Disney logo and Hasbro logo. We have the character on one side, in this case R2-D2, and on the other side we have... C-3PO, along with a, another logo promoting Rebels on Disney XD, where you can watch it, basically. Okay. On the back here, we have basically the same kind of image that was on the Toys R Us exclusive um, battle pack, I guess. Uh, it has the Rebels logo on top, an orange, and then an image of the guys who do the dirty work, basically, in the team. Um, you have a little bio on them, and then basically on the bottom, you have the rest of the Mission Series figures that are in the same wave. The only two new ones are basically the Rebels ones, so this set, Zeb and Stormtrooper, and then we have Boba Fett and Stormtrooper uh, packed together for the first time. However, they are repacked figures from the single-carded line, um, which is kind of cool. So that's basically it for the packaging. Before I continue with the figures, I do, however, want to compare um, the packaging with the regular Mission Series packaging, which is with the Darth Vader image. There's not a whole lot of a difference, really. I mean, just one or two. For example, uh, the side parts here. This one's shorter than this. This would go all the way up, and now it doesn't, right? They also, you know, originally had the Star Wars logo um, on the bottom, and now we have it on the top. They no longer say Mission Series with a name. But however, like on the back, it states it is still Mission Series because it says MS. Um, let me see what else I can point out. Of course, it didn't have this either. And it also did not have the uh, Disney logo anywhere. And the Mission Series number was on here on the bottom. And of course, in, in the Rebels one, it's not. Turn it around. Like I said, there's no Mission Series that it says anywhere. But the numbers are, you know, in different spots. The back part, for the most part, is sort of the same. And uh, the way the uh, other figures from the waves are displayed are also different. So just, you know, minor stuff. But I kind of like the Rebel style packaging a little bit more. So let's crack these open and see what the figures have to offer. Okay, so these guys are out of the packaging now. Let's take a look at R2 first. Okay, R2, there's really nothing special. I mean, to me, he doesn't look as animated. To me, he looks more realistic. Um, so, you know, he basically has three points of articulation. Swivel dome and swivel legs. I kind of wish he had the middle um, leg with the wheel, but, you know, it's, it's no big deal. The paint's pretty nice. It's pretty traditional to how we've seen R2 before many times over. So I kind of like it, you know, the blues there, the silvers there. Details really nice on them. So that's R2. And he stands up nicely as well. Now let's take a look at 3PO here. Now 3PO um the only little gripe I sort of have is that the uh, the gold really looks like a... Oh, it doesn't look shiny or anything. It just looks, you know, like they literally molded the figure this color already. And then added the other designs. But, I mean, 
it's just a small gripe. I do like the way the eyes look, and you know he sort of has that more uh, Ralph McQuarrie uh, style to the figure, as opposed to the show. Details are nice, however. Uh, figure does have five points of articulation, so he does have a swivel head, swivel arms, and swivel legs. I think that's about it, yeah. So, I mean, all in all, I, I have no gripes over this packaging, just one or two, I guess. But, uh, you know, they're very cool to add into our collection and to add to, you know, the other figures that are a part of the single-carded line. Um, I already have Kanan and Ezra as well as the uh, Rebels Obi-Wan since I bought the Toys R Us exclusive set. So if you guys haven't seen that review, please make sure to check it out by going to my Star Wars Rebels action figure review pl uh, playlist. And there I have everything that I reviewed Star Wars Rebels related as of right now. Um, but please comment down below and share your thoughts on this set. I hope you guys have enjoyed this review. And stick around because now I'm going to be reviewing the set that includes Zeb and a Stormtrooper. So thanks again for watching, guys. Make sure to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. And also follow me with my other uh, podcast members on the Wolfpack Podcast. Visit our website, uh, www.wolfpackpodcast.com, as well as our Facebook page and our Twitter page and our Instagram page. Uh, thanks again for watching, guys. Until next time, may the Force be with you.